With a decline in tourists from China, the Taipei City Department of Information and Tourism is targeting Singaporeans who are visiting Taiwan in ever larger numbers to pick up the slack. To cater to these tourists and increase Taipei's international exposure, the department today organized a competition to make soup dumplings as well as a visit to the city's Ningxia Night Market. 33 Singaporean tourists don aprons before trying their hands at wrapping soup dumplings. One wrapped their soup dumpling as if it were a dumpling to be boiled, with another seeing the filling spilling out of the wrapping, making it look more like a Cantonese shao mai. The tourists took about 28 seconds on average to wrap one dumpling, three times as long as their instructor. They all agreed that the job isn't as easy as it looked. Uh, <laughs> the ending part, <laughs> difficult to catch. After eating their handmade dumplings, the tourists went to Dadao Cheng to look at some old buildings and then proceeded to the Ningxia Night Market, where the Taipei Department of Tourism had organized a team competition to encourage visitors to take pictures and share their experiences. The number of Singaporean tourists coming to Taipei has grown by about 90 percent over the past five years. Of course, our targets for this year don't cover only tourists from Singapore, though we hope that we can increase the rate at which they return to Taipei for a second trip. Tourists from Asia make up 90% of all tourists visiting Taipei, so our target is tourists from all over Asia. And that doesn't change just because of a decline in Chinese visitors. As numbers of Chinese tourists drop off, Taipei's tourism department continued its efforts to attract Muslim tourists. Though Southeast Asia, the market with the most potential growth, remains the city's main target for attracting visitors.